everyone today i'll be dealing with the second part on sets that is on chapter 1 sets ma ncrt max today i will be discussing on what are empty sets what are finite and infinite sets and what are equal sets then we will do the work problems based on what are empty sets finite in an infinite sets and on equal sets first of all let's understand what is an empty set a set which does not contain any element or oh, that is a set that is null null set we can say that or a void set this set is called a empty set empty set can be either represented by braces without any elements that is there is no element in that and that's why it is called a empty set so phi or psi or a br close brackets so open and close braces you can use for example let's take an example of an empty set a x is set set of all x such that x is greater than 1 but x is less than x is greater than 1 but less than 2 is there any element and where x is a natural numbers between 1 and 2 you can you find any natural numbers no so this set is not valid and it is a null set or a void set or also you can say it as a empty set so this is what meant by empty set in sets okay now let's discuss what are finite and infinite sets a set which is empty that is it does not have any elements or consist of a definite number of elements that or there is a finite number of elements we call it as a finite set otherwise if we cannot define the exact number of elements in the set we say it is as infinite set for example x x that x is a natural number less than 10 so write the roster form of this form what are, will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 comma 8 comma 9 so this is a finite set because i have definite number of elements in my set and that's why we can say this set as a finite set and the next one is the infinite set example for an infinite set x x z x is a point on a line so in a line there are infinite number of points and we can say this set as a example of infinite set also the number of elements of a set are denoted by n of s for example let's say our this set is s equal to 1 2 3 so we have here nine elements so number of elements of a set is denoted by n of s so we can say that n of s here is 9 that is nine elements are there in this set okay now let's understand what is an equal set so equal sets are that for both the sets they have equal number of elements and also they have exactly the same elements for example two sets a and b are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements and we write a equal to b so if they have exactly the same elements the elements are immaterial so that is not a problem then we can say that element we can say that a is equal to b otherwise if the set are said to be unequal we say it by a not equal to b this is a symbol for a not equal to b and equal to sign is for a equal to b for example example a 1 2 3 4 b is again the same set right but the order is replaced 3 1 2 4 you can say that both these sets are equal and a is equal to b i hope it's clear now let's learn about some important notes which we have to understand in sets okay a set does not change if one or more elements of the set are repeated that is a set takes only the unique collection of elements you can see that here the elements are repeated but we take only the unique ones so 1 2 2 again they are repeated but we take it as 2 but we can say that a is equal to b the set a is equal to b each element of b is element of a and each element of a is also an element of b so a is equal to b So that's all the knowledge what you require for doing the exercise one point two, and let's do directly with the exercise one point two. Okay, so let's directly start. Which of the following examples are of the which of the following are the examples of the null set? Set of odd natural numbers divisible by two. So you can see that set of odd natural numbers means we see one, three, five, seven, and so on, right? But you can see that 
they are non none are divisible by 2 so this set is an empty set or you can also say it as a null set okay i hope it's clear the next one is set of even prime numbers check whether there is an even prime number yeah there exists an even prime number what is that 2 so this is not an empty set not a null set okay now the third one x x that x is a natural number and x is greater than 5 and but less than 7 so x x that x is a greater x is less than 5 so that is value of x is sorry i said i said wrong later x is less than 5 and x is greater than 7 you can see that when x is a natural number you can have you can't have simultaneously both of this condition because here it just said that x value is less than 5 that means it is 4 3 2 or 1 and the second condition is that x is greater than 7 this both does not happen simultaneously and hence you can say that this is an example of a empty set okay so the last problem in it Set of all set of y such that y is a point common to any two parallel lines. You can see that when you draw two parallel lines, they don't have any common points. Only if we intersect with a the line, then they have a common point. So you can say that this is also an example of a empty set or null set or void void set. So let's discuss now the third problem. Which of the following sets are infinite or finite? What are finite sets? When there is definite number of elements or an empty set, we say it as a finite set. And when we cannot define the exact number of elements in a set, we can say it as an infinite set. Set of months of a year. We know that in a year there are 12 months. And then you can say that this is an example of a finite set. Again, 1, 2, 3. I hope this uh, everyone knows that this is an example of a set of natural numbers. How do we denote the set of natural numbers? We denote the set of natural numbers by capital N. So this is an example of infinite set. We can see that dot dot is given that. That is there are a lot number of elements. Again, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 till 9900. The last element is also set. So we know that this is the set of all natural numbers which are less than 101 or which is less than or equal to 100. So this is an example of a finite set. Next one is the set of positive integers greater than 100. Set of positive integers greater than 100. What is the next one? 100 and 0, 1 and so on. You don't know. Set of greater than it is said. So there are a lot number of elements and you can't define it with exact number of elements. So you say it as a infinite set now let's discuss the next problem set of prime numbers less than 99 that we can easily find right 2 3 5 7 then uh, then 11 13 so these are all under comes under 99 so you can say that they have a definite number of elements you can easily find it out and you can say it as a example of a Fi in fi in for sorry finite set because the limit is already given what is this 99 so you you can easily find that that's all for the second problem and now let's discuss our third problem state whether each of the following set is finite or infinite set of lines which are parallel to the x-axis set of lines you can to the x-axis x-axis is what this is the x-axis right if you draw lines parallel, you can draw infinite number of L lines and you can say this as an infinite set. Okay, set of letters in the English alphabet. In English alphabet, you have 26 letters and that is a finite set. Right? Set of numbers which are multiples of 5. Set of numbers which are multiples of 5 starts from what? If you take numbers which are multiples of 5, it is not exactly said what it is. What is it a natural number or something like that? So I'm assuming it is a natural number. Still see five, which are multiples of five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so on. So it does not have an end, and you say it as an infinite number of elements because here we have we don't know the number of elements. Okay. Next one is the set of animals living on the earth. Set of animals living on the element is a finite or infinite? 
finite why because if you take an estimate of all the number animals living on the earth it is possible but it, this value will be very high but this is a finite set next set of circles passing through the origin set of circles passing through the origin okay this is the origin zero zero if you draw circles you can draw a list of circles through that a couple of circles a many number of circles so you can say this as an example of a infinite set so that's all for the problem number three and now let's do our problem number four in the following state whether a is equal to a equal to b or not that is we have to compare both the sets and say that whether they are equal sets a b c d check where all these elements are in the other one also d is there c is there b is there so you can say that a equal to b yeah order does not have does not matter in sets so they are equal next one is a equal to 4 8 12 16 here you can see that b is 8 4 16 18 you can see that 4 is there here also 4 is there 8 is there yeah but the 12 is missing 12 does not belongs to b and 16 does not belongs to b similarly 16 belongs to b so the element 12 does not belong and each element they should be equal to each other in both the sets so you can say that this set is not equal and you say a is not equal to b next one 2 4 6 8 10 where x x that x is a positive even integer and x less than or equal to 10 whether they are equal let us find the positive even integers so integers positive even integers start from 2 right 2 4 6 8 and 10 so they are equal so you, you can say that a is equal to b now let's do our next problem x is a multiple of 10 so let's let's write that series x is a multiple of 10 10 20 30 something like that right but in the second set if you see that there is a 15 that is not a multiple of 10 right so this is a different element also 25 so you can say that here a is not equal to b so that's all for the fourth problem and now let's do our fifth problem are the following pair of sets equal give reason you have to give reasons for both this okay a set is 2 and 3 b set is x such that x is solution of x square plus 5x plus 6 so what are the solutions of it using quadratic equation you can find it but i am finding it simple way in my own way factorizing way x plus 3 and you know that x is equal to minus 2 and minus 3 so set is minus 2 comma minus 3 here you can see that a is not equal to b so that's for this first problem and then the next problem is x x that x is a letter in the word follow so let's find it w is a word f is a word o is a word and l is a word right of this let of this word so uh, sorry uh, uh, w is a letter f is a letter o is a letter and l is a letter here also you can see that w is a letter l is a letter f is a letter in the word wolf so you can see that all the letters matches with each other in these sets so you can say that here a is equal to b that's all for the fifth problem and now let's discuss our last and the final problem in this section from the sets given below select equal sets so there are a couple of sets given in the question and we have to find the equal sets in this problem so for that let's compare let's find it out you can see the directly 0 and 1 i'm taking with the smallest one you can see that 0 and 1 no there are no 0 and 1 1 and minus 1 yeah it is equal to g h is equal to e right again 2 4 8 12 2 4 8 12 i can't find anywhere 1 2 3 4 you can see that b and d are also equal the rest of the sets does not match us and these are the only two which i got from the problems so that's the answer for the problem number six and with that we come to an end on exercise 1.2 on my next video we will discuss about what are subsets and also what are intervals so that's all for today's section and let's see you in my next video bye bye